They say you spend one third of your life in bed, so it makes sense to buy a bed that helps you get a good night's sleep. So what about your desk? Most of us spend at least eight hours a day, five days a week at a desk. Not to mention overtime at work or time in our personal offices or workspaces at home. It's entirely possible that we spend more time at a desk than we do in bed, which is to say most of our lives are spent at a desk. I'm Aaron Smith. I'm an executive producer and editor at The Division, where we make the international hit TV series Graveyard Cars, right here behind me, in fact. For myself and the other editors and producers I work with, life at a desk is the only life we know. So when I read that sitting for hours a day is on par with smoking, I got worried. Some of us already have back problems and other health-related concerns, so we were motivated to find a solution, and that is what led us to the human solution. We discovered the amazing Uplift Desks and a host of ancillary products that perfectly meshed into our work environment. Everything from supportive mats to stand on to fully customizable keyboard trays, wire management systems, the list goes on. Here's what we love about the Human Solutions Uplift Desks. They raise and lower at the touch of a button. You can adjust them in the tiniest increments and store the heights in memory for instant recall. I have one height for sitting, one height for standing, and one height for my treadmill. Did I mention the treadmill? Yeah, the human solution has those two. The level of the desk can perfectly suit your task. At The Division, we may be editing, drawing, color correcting, typing, mixing, creating graphics, or even working on computers, which is all facilitated by the Uplift desk. Even if you're a dyed-in-the-wool sitter, non-adjustable desks have inherent problems. To illustrate, you adjust your chair correctly, but your hands are not properly positioned for working. Not to mention your monitors are usually at the wrong height for natural viewing. This is usually solved by an adjustable keyboard tray and, if you're lucky, adjustable monitor arms. Both available at the human solution, of course. But this doesn't work for everybody, so we usually raise up our chair to alleviate wrist pressure and, in so doing, create undue pressure on our knees and legs. The pressure that contributes to blood clots. This is why they say sitting is the new smoking. Okay, let's take a look at one of our editors, Gavin. He sits 75% of the day, and due to his office size, he prefers to have his peripherals on top of the desk. He can dial in his chair perfectly so he can sit comfortably and healthfully, then adjust his desk to the perfect angle for editing and typing. Gavin does raise his desk up occasionally for work, but also for reviews. Because he can only fit one chair in his office, if several of us producers are coming in to approve an edit, he can hit a button and bring the monitors up to a perfect viewing angle. It's kind of novel, but very useful. One of the most interesting things we read about standing desks before we became converts was how standing at work can contribute to your creative process. Legendary editor and Academy Award winner Walter Murch prefers standing to edit his films. Uh, there's also been a number of authors who preferred writing standing up. Now, some of this may boil down to personal preference, but many researchers think it has to do with blood flow. When you're standing, your circulation is dramatically improved. Better circulation, more oxygen gets to your brain, thus enabling you to be smarter and more creative. Plus, you burn more calories standing. The supportive muscles in your legs and core are engaged in little micro-movements. Now, these little movements add up over the days and weeks, so you can burn more calories without even trying. You gotta love that. All in all, when you consider the benefits of health, creativity, and better workflow, Uplift desks are one of the best returns on investment we could receive, not just for our company, but for our team.